I'd like to thank you for tuning into my video. If you have any questions on the topic of this video or buying a robust lathe, you can simply contact me. My contact information is in the description below. This video is going to be on a Ron Brown tool and it's used in conjunction with the uh, board to a bowl uh, fixture that he's got on his website. Okay, um, and I'm going to show you some pictures of what you can make with that particular uh, device. And I've talked to Ron Brown, uh, emailing back and forth the last couple days, and he's explained how this tool is uh, used, how it's designed, and uh, for one thing, it's uh, really for cross grain. And in my lathe, I've got a, oh, just a one inch disc that I've trued up in the face and the edge here. And I'm gonna do a little parting with this. Now, this tool is designed to be used with that device for making a bowl out of a board, okay? And it goes in at a, uh, a certain angle, maybe 45 degrees, Ron has, um, these little templates that uh, you set up that device to. okay but something I never really thought about when you're doing a spindle let's say I'm I'm cutting across this tool handle um, the height of the kerf doesn't really matter but when you're cutting across grain at an angle that kerf is um, well, it's a little bit different, and your tool can bind in that. I'm going to make a cut here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, now let's take a look for a second at some parting tools. Here's a diamond parting tool, and a big part of um, a parting tool is stability. This one is rather thick. Okay, and it offers a lot of stability because of, of its uh, shape. All right. Here are a couple thin parting tools. Very nice tools. Now, one thing you'll notice, these are rather um, large in this dimension. And that adds some stability when you're parting off. Now, let's take a look at uh, Ron Brown's parting tool. And I'll show you more close-ups of this tool with the blade removed. But it's a little bit uh, smaller in this dimension right here. And there's a reason for that that I'll explain here in just a second. All right, now I'm going to show you a picture of Ron Brown's uh, bowls from a board system. And... What that does is it holds this, uh, this parting tool at a certain angle. I'm going to just make a, make a cut going back through there. And I want to show you the kerf it leaves and the problem you're going to have with a larger parting tool that's, that's bigger in the height dimension. So I'm going to just uh, run this through there. Now you notice this tool has a 15 inch handle which offers greater stability and leverage when you're making this particular cut. I'm going to turn the speed down a little bit. There we are. All right, now I've gone over to my bandsaw and simply cut that ring in half. Okay, so it, it came off like that. So there's my kerf. And I've started another cut with this parting tool right in here. Okay, I didn't go down very deep. But that just illustrates that on this area right here, if I had a tool that was taller, 
I would bind in that in that kerf. Because this is a smaller dimension, it's a, like a half an inch tall, okay? It doesn't bind. And Ron makes the point that this really is for cross grain, which is what I'm showing you right here. Now his system for uh, taking uh, a bowl from a board like this, it sets up the proper angle and it's uh, a lot more secure and, and probably safe than what I'm doing here. This works okay. All right, now let me show you one more, one more thing as I do this. If I'm parting this off, I have a, just a little, little block of wood, and if I go directly into this spindle, the height doesn't matter. My parting tool can be an inch or an inch and a half uh, tall, and it's not going to bind in that direction. Okay, and I can just go directly in and part it off, and that works fine. But because this is curved, it narrows that kerf down, and you could get some binding. So this tool is really designed for that system that Ron has. Okay, now I'm checking my calendar here, and I'm putting this video up on October 29th. Now, in a couple of days on November 1st, I'm putting up another Four Ways video. Won't tell you what that uh, topic is going to be, but keep in mind, November 1st, it's a Wednesday, look for that video. So the one I'm going to really focus on right now is a Ron Brown tool, okay? And it's got a blade that you can take out and uh, replace got a really nice handle okay let me just take this out of the handle so let's take a little closer look at Ron Brown's parting tool high-speed steel here are the dimensions 3 32nd by a half inch by four and a half inches long and Ron assures me that there is a replacement blade uh, for this if you need it but this will last you a very, very long time. Now, uh, let me show you the handle. I'll put that blade in the handle in just a second, but Ron mentioned that you could use this handle for other tools. Now, the opening is a half an inch right here. Okay, so I just grabbed a half inch gouge just to show you that uh, you know, this works very well with other tools. Nice long handle, okay? So let's put the, uh, the blade back in here. Okay, let's take a look at this tool and the cutting edge of the blade. One advantage of having this sort of a handle with a half inch opening and if you want more stability on your tool you simply put that in a little deeper lock it in or if you need to part off something that's a little bit bigger in diameter you simply extend that and if it's easier for you to sharpen this tool you simply take it out of the handle. So let's go over to the grinder and we'll just uh, sharpen this blade. All right, now I don't believe there's an easier tool to sharpen than a parting tool. I've adjusted the platform so I could just set this blade right there. Line that up with my uh, grinding wheel. Alright, now one point that's pretty important when you're sharpening this tool 
is you want to just sharpen the very front of this right in this area. And that goes against your, your grinding stone or your CBN wheel. Now I notice that there's a little bit of a burr on the top of that tool. Uh, Ron Brown makes the point that you really shouldn't sharpen the top of this. You don't need to. If there is a little burr on the top of that blade, it's going to wear off very quickly. So uh, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Now this particular narrow parting tool comes in two variations. All right, this is the complete parting tool. It's got the handle, it's got the set screw, the, the blade, and that's ready to go. Now if you want to save a little money, I believe for $20 less you can buy the parting tool kit. I'm going to put a picture of that up and all the uh, options that comes with that. Okay, and those options are a 4-inch pipe holder. It's drilled and tapped for a quarter inch by 20 set screw, which is included. It's got the 8% uh, cobalt uh, cutoff blade that I showed you earlier and an Allen wrench. He also will offer replacement blades uh, for about $20 per blade with a little bit of shipping. So that's the parting tool kit, the picture you're looking at. Well, thank you very much for tuning into my video. I appreciate it. Please like and share and comment on this video, and I'll talk to you next time.